Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be updating quite a few apps right here on your Mac. So to get started, on the top left hand side you're going to see the Apple logo. That's the top left hand side of your screen, there's an app logo. And from there your third option will say App Store. So that's your third option. Keep in mind that system updates will always be under system preferences, however, for apps, they're usually under your App Store. Once we open up our App Store, we're going to see all the updates that we need right now. So as of now, we have Compressor, Final Cut Pro, and iMovie. If you don't see one of these updates here and you need it, then on the top left-hand side, you're going to see Search. So for example, let's just search for Final Cut Pro. We're going to search for that. It's going to find it. And then we're going to see Update on the top right-hand side of that program. Or we can click on the program itself and again on the top right hand side we're going to see update and we can update it from here just by pressing on update and the update will start. How do we know it's actually updating? Well you're going to see this filling up more and more and more until it's all done. Now let me just go back into our updates. So on the left hand side bottom we're going to see updates. Let's just tap right there and for example Final Cut Pro we can view more and see exactly how big this is. This is 2.9 gigs, so it isn't that big. This depends on your internet speed, so how fast this will download. Right now it's downloading pretty fast for me because I'm not doing anything else right now with my internet. I'm not downloading videos, not downloading music. I'm just doing this video and that's why it's running kind of fast. So it's going to be just a few minutes for me, or I should say a few seconds. However, for most of you, if you guys have slower internet, this could take a couple minutes. because It is almost 3 gigs that you're downloading. Now let's move on to Compressor. If we click on Compressor and more, we're going to see that it's only 288 megabytes. Again, that should mean just a couple seconds for most of you. Let's just click on update. We're going to let that run. After the update's done, which uh, Final Cut Pro is almost all the way there, we're going to see that it disappears from up here and then it goes in the bottom. Anyways, let's move on to iMovie. I'm going to click on more. In iMovie, we're seeing that it's 2.1 gigs. Now if you would like to update these, you don't have to click on more. I'm just showing you how big they are. I'm just going to click on update iMovie. And here we go. Obviously the more you update at the same time, the slower it will be. So right now as you guys can see, Final Cut Pro was updated. So we'll no longer see it up here updating. But it will just disappear and appear under updated recently. Compressor also finished, so it moved down here below. And Final Cut Pro move down here, like I mentioned, so we can just click on open. So instead of update, it should just say open. iMovie is moving pretty fast, although it was also 2 gigs. And once the update is done, it's also going to move down here below. So we're just going to wait for that, and then we're going to open up each one of these. So you guys can see how they open up. So meanwhile, iMovie is almost up to date, so it's almost, almost there. We're just going to open up Final Cut Pro, so we just click on open. So right now Final Cut Pro is opening, it tells us right away what's new, we can just continue on and just use Final Cut Pro. Now I do have a library that's missing links, that's fine, that's normal, I'm actually going to delete that one and uh, we're good to go. So if you guys have missing links, that, that's just me in my case, because I know I deleted those videos, but uh, in your case everything should be okay. So that's Final Cut Pro, I'm also going to open up Compressor. And I move it very soon, once it's done. So same thing, compressor, what's new? Continue on and use compressor, everything as normal. So I'm going to close it up. And finally, iMovie is done. So we're just going to open that up. And we're going to see what's going on with iMovie. Now iMovie is something that I don't usually use. So the screen that you guys are going to see, it's a little bit different. Anyways, right now iMovie access my photos, OK. Continue on, continue on, and we're done. Anyways, right now it's just going to load whatever, and I'm just going to close it up. Yeah. So iMovie is not a big thing. I have Final Cut Pro, so I don't really use iMovie that much. I use it more on my phone or my iPad just to edit really quick, but that would be it for this video. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.